Welcome to the Keymind Quick Start Guide for Analytics. The analytics area is where all the reporting and analysis tools exist on the Keymind platform. To access, click on the left hand menu, the drop down for analytics, and select the option top line. You can see through the option top line all available tools for reporting and analysis can be accessed through this second menu in the top right. You can also access some of these tools using the shortcuts in the left hand menu, i.e. cross tabs and dashboards. To begin, we will look at exporting raw data for analysis. To do this, you first need to select the correct survey, which will appear in the below list. We will select a survey with some practice data. We can click on the survey, it is highlighted in yellow, and then select export. Keymind enables you to export raw data in various different formats, including Microsoft Excel CSV file, FU formatted file, SVSS, and PRN. You can select the format of the file by simply selecting the option. You have the ability to include data maps, etc. You can also select particular times and also date ranges for data. You can also select different user survey respondent statuses. By default, the system will select all completed interviews. You may, however, want to export incompleted interviews, route outs, which are disqualified, etc. You can do this by ticking on the relevant box. <clears throat> Underneath, there are further options, including different tags, if available within your account. Further fields of information can be also included, such as IP address, creation stamp, and unsubscribe date if required. You can also create an export data map. This will allow you to export particular questions rather than the whole survey questionnaire. When ready, click export to download your file. Further options for reporting and analysis in the QMind platform include the top line. By selecting the survey and clicking on top line, the platform will generate an automated top line dashboard for you with your survey results. Please note, survey results are in real time. If your survey is live, you can look at these results, but please do remember these results will be changing as they are current and reported as and when more survey interviews are added. You can see on the left hand side, you have a raw data table and on the right hand side, you have a visual graph and chart. Above you have options to enable percentages, raw counts, or both. You will see that the raw data table will show both percentages and raw counts or one or the other. The charts will only ever show you percentages unless selected otherwise. Scrolling down, you can see the platform will select charts on your behalf which it feels are most suitable. However, you can change the type of chart being used by clicking on edit and finding the question where you want to change the chart type and making your way to chart display as and selecting from the available menu of options.
In this case, we will change to a pie chart and there is a preview at the top. We also have various other options for editing, including clicking on delete to remove a question from the dashboard, which you may not want to show, as well as adding in filters to the data. By clicking on selectable filters, selecting the survey from which the data appears, in this case, the survey so sorted, and then selecting the question by which you want to filter your data. You are then able to label the filter and click add to filters. If a filter has been su successfully added, you will see the label, the name, underneath selectable filters. Click save. And this filter will be available in your dashboard when you preview or share a public link. Further options within the edit area include the ability to include raw counts, display a table on a separate tab, display mean scores, percentage counted total percent, remove option rows, include option rows, and other areas such as alignment, enable 3D graphics for bar charts, auto sizing, display data as designed in the survey, ascending or descending order. For more detailed information, please refer to our advanced users top line dashboard guide. Within the dashboard tool, you also have an ability to change the color of the dashboard branding. Currently on Q2, we have red and purple. By clicking on colors at the top, you will see the available options to customize the coloring of your charts. Code one, if we edit this to black, and then code two, we change to green, and we use and apply to existing charts, we will see the coloring system has now been updated. Further options include global filters, where you can select particular dates and time ranges. You can select statuses, including incomplete interviews, route outs to a disqualified, quota fails, test users, and so on and so forth. Within this area, it will enable you to run reports to find out where you are losing survey respondents in a live survey. To apply any filters, click Apply Filters. Always make sure you save your dashboard in order to keep any changes that you make. You can rename the dashboard like so. And save. Dashboards can be shared on public links. What this means is by clicking on the option link, enable public view, and save, copy to dashboard, to clipboard, and share this link with unlimited stakeholders. Any stakeholder accessing this link will not have to log into the main portal meaning you have unlimited numbers of stakeholders who can access the link and the data which you decide to display. Returning to contents, one final feature which is available as part of the toolkit is the ability to add top breaks to your dashboard. 
To access top breaks, click on global filters. Click under top breaks new and name the filter. In this case, we will be adding an agenda top break. We will add our labels. We will then click on the edit logic icon to select the survey question, which is related to the top break we are creating. In this case, female drag and drop equals female. And the same for male drag and drop male equals male and save changes. We can then save this top break. And we can return to the dashboard and the contents. And you can see we have now split the data using top breaks. Like so. Ensure you save your changes as always, otherwise you may lose your work. Please note top breaks within the top line dashboard tool are intended for straightforward slicing of data. If you require more advanced breaks, you will need to use the cross tabulation tool. This cross tabulation tool can be found through the analytics drop down and clicking on the cross tabulation option. As we click through to the cross tabs option, you will see the ability to create a new cross tab. Please click on that. Select the survey where the data is, where we wish to create our cross tabulation from. Apply a name and click create. Once we've created our cross tabulation area, we will be presented with some new options. You will see again a dashboard creation area to the right and a series of options to the left in the, in the second column. Within the cross tabulation tool, we have a series of survey variables. These will be the questions for which we can build cross tabulations. To build a cross tabulation, select a question, in this case, gender drag and drop into the right hand side and you can see we've started to build a basic cross tabulation. To cross the data and create breaks and banners, we can select the next available data point from the survey variable list. In this case, we will use age groups, drag and drop into the right hand side and select apply as break. You will then be presented with a series of options, including the ability to run statistical analysis, including significance testing, the ability to add in all answer codes available within that particular break by clicking on the green option icon. You will see this has now added all the available age groups. We can customize the available age groups on the banner and break by simply clicking on the minus sign to remove it. And we can also use formula to specify the type of data we wish to show. We can add breaks within breaks by clicking the additional sign on a particular answer code area or remove by clicking the minus sign as per before. You have the ability to edit question labels. In this case, we can take the question and we can simplify the label if required. Confirm changes to apply to the table and you can see we are now building a cross tabulation with breaks and banners. Ensure you save your changes so work is not lost. We will add one more break into this example. So Q6, again, drag and drop, apply as break. 
If you want to enable significance testing, please do so. Edit the label if required. And click on the green icon to apply all available answer codes for your branch and banner. Confirm changes to apply to the table and you will see your table now has age groups and frequency as the banner and branch. Save your changes and click run. It's important you click run so that the data is added into your cross tabulation that you are creating. You will see that we now have data present and we can apply percentages just by clicking on view and clicking on show percentages and apply to all. Remember to save your changes and click run to present the data. Other tools available to you include elements where we can add in mean scores by clicking and dragging, selecting any statistical analysis we require, in this case we will select all available, confirming changes, saving our work and clicking on run so that the data will be applied to the tabulation tool. And you can see we are now building more complex cross tabulations. Other options include net rows and columns, base totals, which is already present, text rows as well. For more, for more information on building cross tabulations from an advanced platform user perspective, please consult our guides under advanced users cross tabulation guide. It is important to save your work so you do not lose it. There is an ability to create many tables in one go without having to create individual tables as we just did in this example. To create multiple tables in one go, we first have to decide on the universal break and banner we wish to apply to all tables. So we can click on global variables to create this universal break and banner. And then we can return to survey variables and decide to apply perhaps gender to all tables we are about to create. We can also add in age groups as well as another break for our banner. And we'll also add in one more option, which is region as a break in our file. When we're happy, let's save our changes. And then we will click on this icon, batch insert variables. Within this area, you will find all available questions within the survey. You can deselect everything by clicking on all, or you can select every available table. If you're happy to choose all available tables, you can scroll down and click on start batch. And this will create a table for every question available within your survey. You can access the tables by going to the table drop down and once those tables have been generated, clicking through every question. You can see in every question, the universal banner and breaks we created of gender, age and region has now been applied to every question available within your survey. We can save our changes and we can press run to show the data within the data tabulations. You will see a line loading up 
the data as it runs through every available question. To export your cross tabulations, you can click on the option export and select Excel and export. This will create an Excel file ready for you to open within your Excel package. Click here to download your export. Returning to the analytics menu, when we're happy that we've created our cross tabulations, we can return to the top line analytics area and we can take a look at one more option available within your QMind analysis tools. This option is referred to as Return Analyzer. We will select the surveys of data which we wish to take a look at. And we will click on Tone Analyzer to show the data which we wish to analyse. Available questions will be presented to you and these will be run through the analysing tool. Select the question and it will load up the sentiment analysis tool with the responses that have been analysed by this AI powered open-ended text analytics 